No, it's alright. You just hang out here. No, it's alright, man. I'll get it from you verbally. What's your name? Nathan. How do you spell it? Merrill. M or Nathan? Yeah. N A T H A N. And Merrill. M E R R I L L. And your middle initial? M. And your date of birth? 10 25 1992. Okay, and you live here? Yeah. I live in 1005 Northwest Bryant Street, Pullman. What's the phone number for you, Nathan? 360 801 6797. How much are you going to drink tonight? Okay. Can I be completely honest with you? Sure. Listen, man. I, I've been in this situation before. I really want this to work out, okay? Okay. I'm, I've had a little to drink tonight. But I can promise you, the only time I've drank is in this house, and the only time I've driven is right down to Dismore's. I promise you, okay. I'm not driving anywhere else. Fair enough. And I, please... I, that's all I can say for you is please give me the chance to say that the okay. I, I'm being completely honest with you. I have driven, okay? Uh, I know. <laughs> I'm watching you drive. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I'm not going anywhere else. Okay. I'm coming back here. I'm staying here for the night. So you said give you a chance, right? Can you? I can give you a chance to show to me that you're not in, your driving is not impaired. Do you feel like your driving is impaired? No. Okay. Would you mind doing some voluntary field sobriety tests? Absolutely. Okay. So let's go over the sidewalk here. Don't be testing. Okay, so do you have... Or just go ahead and stand up. Stand on the sidewalk. Do you have any eye conditions that you know about? No. Okay. I have, man, I'm, I have glasses, but they're not okay. like... Do they require it on your driver's license? No, 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 no. Okay. They're just required. I go to WSU. I'm going to evaluate you on your ability to do the tests as well as follow my instructions. Okay. Don't start any tests before I tell you to do so. Okay. I'll explain and demonstrate each one in detail, okay? Just let me know if you have any questions. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you said you wear glasses. Is that for, like, sort of it's reading? It's for and stuff? classes. Yeah. Only for classes. That's okay. the only thing it's for. Do you have any other physical conditions that you know about? No. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check your eyes. Okay. Stand with your heels and toes together. Okay. Arms down at your sides. Arms down at your sides like I am right now. Oh. And just follow the tip of my blue pen here. I'm going to hold it up in a second. Okay. With your eyes only or keeping your head still. Do you understand? Yep. Just fall with your eyes only. Nope, keep your head still. Oh, I'm me. sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna go up. Keep your head. I'm sorry. I can't. That's fine. Take a blink if you need to, if your eyes are dry. Okay, just take a deep breath and blow it on my hand. Okay. The next test is gonna be the nine step walk and turn. What do I want you to do? Actually, yeah, let's just go right there for me. Right here? Yep, nope, just, nope. So, right where you're staying, just face down that way. This way? Yep. So, we'll be perpendicular. What I want you to do is imagine a straight line coming out in front of you, okay? Okay. I want you to put your left foot on that line, put your right foot in front of it, heel to toe. I want you to stay in that position with your arms down at your sides. This until right I here? Yep, until I tell you to start the test. Okay. When I ask you it again, I want you to take nine heel to toe steps down the line, turn around and take nine heel to toe steps back down the line. Okay. For the turn, I want you to leave your front foot on the ground and take a series of small steps around it with your other foot until you're facing the other direction and okay. continue back down the line with nine more steps. I want you to look down at your feet, count your steps out loud, and keep your arms at your sides. Okay. The first step you take from that starting position will be counted as step one, and don't stop the test once you've started. I'm going to demonstrate the test here for you. 
um, by doing three steps, a turn, and three more steps, okay? It should look like this. One, two, three. You leave your front foot on the ground, take a series of small steps around it. One, two, three. Again, I only did three steps. Did You're going to do nine. Okay. Do you understand? Go ahead and get back in that starting position with your left foot on the line, your right foot in front of it for me. Do you understand the test? Yes. Hold on one second for me. Go ahead and begin. One. Right, go ahead and relax. Next step is the one leg stand. What I want you to do is stand with your heels and toes together, arms down at your sides. Down my sides? Yep, heels and toes together just like I'm doing. Okay, stay in this position until I tell you to start. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, when I ask you to begin, you raise the foot of your choice six inches off the ground just like I'm doing right now. Okay. I want you to keep your foot straight and so it's parallel um, with the ground. I want you to keep both legs straight as well. Okay. I want you to look down at your foot and count out loud 1,001, 1,002, okay. 1,003, and okay. so on until I tell you to stop. All right. If you put your foot down, just pick it back up and continue counting from where you left off. Okay. you have any questions about the test? Nope. Okay, do you understand it completely? Yes. Okay, which foot are you going to raise up? Right. Hold on one second. Okay, go ahead and begin. Okay, go ahead and relax. How much have you had to drink tonight? I've had a couple shots of vodka. And listen, man, I I'm, I go to WSU. Like I'm a real I'm a working hard student, and I would just I just really would love if you. I understand, man, but you gotta be responsible for I know, what I you know. do. I know, I have to be responsible, and I listen. I just if you <laughs> put like off the hook, I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'm going to stay here this whole night. I'm not going to go anywhere. I promise. How old are you? I'm 20 years old. I'm about to be turned 21. I promise you I'm not going to go anywhere. That's my, that's my word. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Next test is a voluntary preliminary breath test. It doesn't replace any other test I may ask you to take. Do you want to provide a sample? Yes. Do you have anything in your mouth right now? Have you had anything to eat or drink in the last 15 minutes? We've been here for about 10, I'd say. Okay, all you gotta do is take a deep breath and blow in this like you're blowing up a balloon. A little hard. And stop. So, if you had to guess where you think you'd be at for blood alcohol I content. I really can't say, but I'm gonna say I know it's, a, it's above a point of it. I can't say where it is. Okay, hold on one second, I'll have a result for you. All I can say is, I. I know I'm not gonna fucking I'm not gonna drive anywhere. I promise you. I promise you this. I know, man, but I just watched you. You could have made that decision before you drove. I know this. I'm I'm with my friend. Okay, she's okay. listening, and we went down to Dismore to get some juice. I promise you, we went down. How far does it take you to walk there? I know, I know, I I know. We messed up. I messed up. It's sure. my choice. Okay. Listen, man, I'm not the one you have to explain yourself to. I just gotta do my job. Um, if you. Please, I'm, I'm literally begging you. I'm begging you. Please, help me here, okay? If you let me Call out, in the four morning, four I will never.
Can you note a PBT of point one four three and start a tilt? I promise you, I will never, ever, ever, ever do this again. I'll never do this. Alright, at this point you are under arrest for DUI. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can have a 411 will be appointed to you without cost you so desire. You can exercise these rights at any time and have an attorney present before and during any questioning. You are being audio and video recorded. <laughs> Have anything in the truck that you need to get out no, of there? No, there's nothing in there. No. Wait, you're going to confiscate the truck? I have to be towed. We can't bring down for you guys, so we don't have a choice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Take the, can you give the keys to her, please? Okay. Can you give the keys to her? Relax for a second. I'm searching your incident to arrest, and I'm going to leave the car key with the vehicle to go you to the tow and pound. So she can take everything that's hers out of there? Sure. Yeah, I'll allow her to do that. Oh my gosh. Go ahead. Dude, please. Dude. Negative. And if you can notice, it's actually a point one four six for the PPT. I was a little oh early. Oh my god, my life is Go over. Walk over to my car. My life is over. I know, man. It's not over, man. You no, it's completely <laughs> over. Okay. It's completely over. Well, you gotta understand that you gotta be responsible for your actions. And that's just part of being that. It's over. It's over. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up for being so fucking. Don't throw up in my car. Oh my god, no, I'm not gonna throw up in my car. Dude, you so could just let me up in the morning. And no, I couldn't. Go, go ahead and have a seat. And you wouldn't. Dude. Go ahead and have a seat, man. I never would have ever, 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 ever done this again. You blaming me is an indication that you don't take responsibility for action. And would continue them without proper enforcement. Hang tight for me. Go ahead, and I have a plate washing. Okay, and a uh, cell phone number for you. Uh, Copy. I should listen better. Okay. Uh, you like to call me to get that? Okay. Sure. Um, right. Pullman. Police Department. Okay. Yeah. So it's, um, downtown. Are you sober or closer to it? A little bit. Well. Are you 21? I'm 23. Why are you letting him drive? He told me he was fine, and I believed him. So. It's pretty. Oh, whatever. You good? Thanks, man. I go knock on the door, there's nothing, oh, it's like quiet like this, and then I'm walking away, and he pulls up, and I'm like, hey, dude, just don't look another. I'll get you out of here and on your way home as soon as I can, okay? Am I going to have to spend the night in jail? You're good. Listen to me. Like, I'm a fucking, I'm a Washington State University student, okay? I never, ever, ever drive drunk. I have lost friends. Okay, I can't even say that. I'm sorry. I know. I sound like a dickhead right now. But I've lost friends to drunk driving, okay? I just drove down to Dismore's to get some juice. I literally, I never...
Use your belt and your hat, please.
stuff. I need you to pay attention. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right this time to an attorney. Be safe and will be used against you in a court of law. If you're under the age of 18, uh, you're not, not going to read that portion. You have the right to talk to an attorney before answering any questions. You have the right to have an attorney present during the questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without cost if so desire. You can exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand these rights? I have read or have had read to me the above explanation of my constitutional rights, and I understand these rights. If so, your signature there. I understand my constitutional rights. I decide not to exercise these rights at this time. Any statements made by me are made freely, voluntarily, and without threats or promises of any kind. If so, your signature there. Right here? Yep. Do you have anything in your mouth? No. I need to check your mouth. Open your mouth for me. Okay. So for the next 15 to 20 or 30 minutes, I need you to keep your hands away from your face and mouth. Do you put them in your pockets? Do you understand that? You understand? I understand. Okay, thank you. I, Excellent. I understand. I totally understand. I don't know who fucking called the police complaint on me. We were not being left at all. Oh my fucking god. Not even at all. We weren't even whole. I'm sorry, if, if I come off as hostile, please don't mark that on your paper. I'm no. totally cooperative. I just, I just can't believe this is happening. Literally, I've never had any fucking part of me arrested, ever. I'm totally fucking, like... Paul, I'm four for eight case number. Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna shut up. I'm, I'm listening, I've got things I have to do. Yeah, thank you. Implied consent warning for breath. Warning. You are under arrest for RCW 4661502 or RCW 4661504, driving or being in actual physical control of a motor vehicle while under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. Go ahead. Okay, my partner said there's a couple of liquor bottles in the back of the truck. In the back seat of the truck. I didn't know about Okay. This. Would you give him permission to go into your vehicle and remove those items? If all he wants to do is remove them and not connect them to me. Oh, uh, I... So... I did not know they were there. Okay, so you, you don't have to let him into your vehicle. You don't, you can refuse them. And you can what stop him. What happens if I refuse I'm not sure. You can, he could potentially apply for, he or I could potentially apply for a warrant, a search warrant for your vehicle to get in there and remove it. Is my vehicle going to be towed? Yes, it's ma mandatory by state law. Oh. Do you know where the, the girl that was with me was? She went inside. What happens if, if, if he takes these liquor bottles? Probably take pictures of them and destroy them. Well, you're still getting a DUI. I know I'm getting a DUI. Okay. Is this going to worsen my case? I don't know. It could be accused as evidence against you and the DUI. Why can't I? I had literally did not know they were back there. Okay. So you're telling me that, so that's fine, and I'll note that. But I didn't know they were back there. So oh. I don't know what you want me to do. It'd be easiest if you let me, my partner, grab them out of the back of your car. Or your truck. You don't have to let us, you can research where we go, and you can stop us at any time. But, why? Okay, I'm sorry. The reason I'm asking too many questions is because I've never I, been in I explain it, I don't explain it to you, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. I know I'm being, like, the most difficult... So, 
let's get back to the question I'm asking. Is it okay if he goes in the car to get those items? Sounds like he already has. Nope, he can see him from the outside. Okay. Put your hands away from your mouth for me. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to... I'm not yelling at you, I just asked you to do it. I know, I know. You just do it, okay? I know, I know. Is this going to hurt me if I tell him to go into my car? I can't give you legal advice. Well, don't I have advice from an attorney? You want to talk to one? Yes. Okay. Six two, that's a negative. Do you want to talk to him about the stuff I'm going to read you here? Or do you just want to talk to him about the um, search of your vehicle? Got it. Okay, I'm going to read you the implied consent warning for breath, and then you can call an attorney if you'd like. I can get you, put you in contact with a public defender. Does that sound good? Well, okay, implied consent warning for breath. Warning, you are under arrest for RCW 4661502, RCW 4661504, driving or being in actual physical control of a motor vehicle while under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. Further, you're now being asked to submit to a test of your breath, which consists of two separate samples of your breath taken independently to determine alcohol concentration. One. You are now advised that you have the right to refuse this breath test and that if you refuse, A, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be revoked or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least one year, and B, your refusal to submit to this test may be used in a criminal trial. Two, you are further advised that if you submit to this breath test and the test is administered, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be suspended or revoked or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least 90 days if you are A, age 21 or over, and the test indicates the alcohol concentration of your breath is 0 0.08 or more or you're in violation of RCW 4661502, driving under the influence, or RCW 4661504, physical control of a vehicle under the influence, or B, under age 21, and the test indicates the alcohol concentration of your breath is 0 0.02 or more, or you're in violation of RCW 4661502, driving under the influence, or RCW 4661504, physical control of a vehicle under the influence. If your driver's license permit or privilege to drive is suspended or revoked or denied, you may be eligible to immediately apply for ignition and unlock driver's license. You have the right to additional tests administered by any qualified person of your own choosing. For those not driving a commercial motor vehicle at the time of arrest, if your driver's license is suspended or revoked, your commercial driver's license, if any, will be disqualified. I have read the above statements of the subject, saying I have read or have had read to me the above statements. If so, your signature there. Would you like to talk to a public defender? Before I give him permission to search my truck. Ah, we're going to skip. We're not worried about the truck anymore because you know, we're going to just get in tow to the tow yard. So, not worry about that.